Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today's fine spirit is a whiskey that looks pretty similar to a whiskey that we have already tasted. Um, I've tasted it together with um, Horst. It was the Bud Spencer whiskey and now we have the Terence Hill whiskey. The Hero. Yeah, and it looks very similar to to what we've seen from Bud Spencer with the fist and and everything and it's from the German distillery St. Kilian uh, 46% ABV and at the bottom you see a natural color unchill filtered or the other way around okay yeah and yeah it's kind of the the follower of the Bud Spencer whiskey and it's nice it's we have two versions it's the smoky one it's the mild one today i'm gonna taste the mild one 46 percent abv and it's not just saint kilian whiskey because um probably they don't have enough because these these bottles with but spencer and now terence hill they are in great demand and yeah so they actually did a joint venture with the um irish distillery the great northern distillery in dundalk and it's a triple distilled irish whiskey and yeah the irish whiskey was matured in ex bourbon casks and the saint kilian whiskey was matured uh, was it finished uh, no it was matured in um, ex rum casks so it should have a bit of a, a fresh influence in it Terence Hill is now uh, 82 years old um, and he now lives in the United States and yeah so he got really famous with together with the Bud Spencer films um, with their Italo Westerns mm, this is really really fresh and it feels a little bit like uh, a raw spirit. It has um, a lot of pear, a lot of tropical fruit. Mm. That's melon. A mm. little bit of a pineapple note. You know when you have that, not the watermelon, but the, in Germany we call it sugar melon, the green one. And that's not ripe, but really, really fresh. It really smells like that. Even from like from the outside, when you smell a melon, they smell different from the outside than from the inside. More fibrous. It has very little influence of the ex bourbon cask. So, the joint venture with the Northern, Northern uh, Great Northern Distillery in Ireland, I don't think they put that much in. I think it's it feels mostly as an, a, like a a rum cask whiskey. Mm. 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 it is sweet but it's very very fresh so i would classify it as a rum cask whiskey so for everybody who likes the rum cask whiskies this is a nice whiskey it has that sugary fresh tropical feeling to it mm, and um, very very mild as well it's it doesn't have any particular big edges and maybe it feels a little bit young you don't have much oak in it you have like maybe a smidge of it in it but it's it's very very faint oh, so it's a, a very light whiskey mm. So yeah, so the experts amongst you light rum cask whiskey that really puts it into character uh, into a, a category, mm, and I like it. I haven't I haven't had much of these whiskeys lately, so it's a great great change, and and I like it today. Mm -hmm, it's nice. So yeah, that was it with the Terence Hill Mild Whiskey. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.